Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back to another garden video. So today we are going to be replacing this dead hydrangea. So this is a beautiful, let's see if I can see the tag, Cherry Explosion Lace Cap Hydrangea that I got last year um, from a nursery. And I put it in kind of in the fall, um, to replace a hydrangea my mom gave me that she rooted from her lace cap hydrangea. Now, the oak leaf hydrangea that she gave me, rooted from hers, is doing great. It is literally blooming behind me. It's in its second year. But the cutting she gave me, it had roots. She'd grown it for this spot. Never rooted in, just never made it, didn't love its life. So I replaced it last fall with this cherry explosion and it, not, it didn't love this spot either. Now, at the same time as I planted this Cherry Explosion Lace Cap Hydrangea, I planted a Summer Crush Endless Summer Hydrangea right behind me. I will, I will zoom in for you so you can see. It is still pretty little. Um, and it is doing fabulous. These Endless Summer Hydrangeas do really well in my zone. We are in 8B and it gets hot here. So even when I put them in a little more shade, they just don't really love our hot temperatures. They especially don't love our hot sun. But with one doing great here, I have one right over there. I have one on the other side of my porch. Um, you know, this isn't necessarily an area where I would say hydrangeas can't survive, but for some reason this spot I've tried two different hydrangeas and neither one is loving it. So plan for today is to dig up the dead one. And you can see I have a brand new summer crush, endless summer hydrangea. So this is the same type as the little one behind me that's just leafing out for the season. It already has buds because it was obviously in a greenhouse. Um, the one that I have down here is pink. This one's coming out more purple. And honestly, it was sitting right next to a bunch of Bloomstruck, which is a more purple plant. I thought I'd grabbed one of those, but I didn't. So instead of a pink and purple hydrangea in this bed, we're gonna have two pink. Eventually our soil will turn these blooms more pink because that is the type of soil that I have. As you know, hydrangea blooms really depend on, um, I believe the pH of your soil and I don't mind, I like pink. I could take this back and get a bloom struck, but I like it, I'm not gonna worry about it. So instead of digging up the cherry explosion, excuse me, something is biting my leg to death. Ants, it's always ants. Okay. Apparently there's a big ant pile on my tree stump. That's new, fabulous come over here. Instead of digging up and replacing my hydrangea in the exact same spot that is not loving, I'm actually going to dig up this knockout rose and relocate him down to the shed where it will get more sun. Sorry y'all, all of these ants do not know where they came from. Like I have stood on the stump 8 million times, but you can see them. They are just like trying to kill me. So we will take care of that, but I'm going to stay over here for a minute. I'm going to relocate this knockout rose. He is the smallest of all six of my knockout roses. I put him in here last year and he is still tiny compared to the rest. And so down here in front of the shed, I have two white hydrangeas. And you can see that this one right here is leafing out. But the one on the other side is dead. No hydrangea. On the other hand, my knockout rose that lives right behind this hydrangea, loves its life, is the biggest of all six. So I'm going to place this knockout rose right here where that hydrangea lived. We will have a white gardenia and a pink knockout rose and a white hydrangea and a pink knockout rose on either side of the shed. 
they won't be identical, but they will coordinate. It will be close enough. And I think the knockout rows will be much happier with more sun. Then, instead of putting the new hydrangea right where the old one was, I'm going to go ahead and pop him over the stump and I'm going to place him a little further back right here. These get about three by three. So he'll be able to fill in this area nicely and he will get more shade right here. The, the tree does not have branches on this side. Cut it, it's great. So this side of the garden bed gets a lot more shade than this side does. So I think I'm gonna put him in a little more shade and hopefully he will do really well here. Like I said, this little guy, look at those leaves. He's already coming back, he's doing great. And the one across the way, my big one, you see all those leaves? That is an endless summer hydrangea as well. So I think he will be very happy right here. And then we will put something else that can handle more full sun. It's not full sun, but it's more full sun than part shade. So we'll put something that can handle more of the sun right here. So replacing the hydrangea a little bit to the left, moving the knockout rows. So let's go ahead and get started by digging up the knockout rows and moving him first. And then we will plant our hydrangea right over here. Break. Right. That seems really quick, but it is done. We've got this guy planted. I love it. I think it will fill in this area nicely um, without interfering with anything. The only perennials I have over here are a few tall um, iris, so those will be fine. And I, Laura Pedlam, which honestly, it also needs more sun. He's just a little stunted baby. He's, he has like three branches and every year he gets smaller somehow. So he may also move. And then we have a couple of peonies tucked right in here, but the rest of this is all annuals and I still need a few for in here, but just planted this guy and this guy, the verbena and the lobelia. So they will kind of take over and if I'd known I was gonna put the hydrangea here I probably would have put this guy more like here and these guys more like here here and here so I could scooch them in a bit I only planted them yesterday so they haven't rooted in yet um I don't know I'll think about it before I do it but we were a little low on dirt. This was a smaller root ball than the rose was. So I went ahead and just threw some compost on top, which is what I've top dressed my entire garden with. So this nice, rich brown compost will be this color in a couple days. They will all match, it's all the same. Just looks really dark right now. And then our hole but I'm not gonna worry about backfilling it because I already have an idea for what I'm gonna plant here. Hint, it's daylilies. So, watch for that video coming soon. I don't have time to plant it right now, but hopefully in the next couple days, they are beautiful. What are they called? Rosie returns. Look at this color. They're like a mauvey, dusty rose kind of color. I have been looking for more pink daylilies. I found these for $6. They are of course perennial and they will come back and they will bloom all summer if they're happy and they can take the sun. So I'm going to pop one, two, three right in here. They should look really well with the Veronica and the foxglove and the daisies, the rest of the things I have in this bed. But for today, just having that dead hydrangea stick out of the garden and a new one in its spot is perfect. I have been trying to decide since last year when the cherry explosion died, 
if I wanted to replace it with another hydrangea, if I wanted to replace it with a rose, I thought about just moving the knockout rose over. Um, I thought about just taking out all together and doing something different, but I love hydrangeas. I want them in as many places of my garden as can handle it. And when I found this one for only $15, the other summer crush one I have identical down here was 32. So for $15, it's worth a try. Hopefully he will live and do really well. And if not, then I'm just gonna have to give up on him because I can only replant this guy so many times. But like I said, instead of going with a brand I don't know about, I don't know anything about the cherry explosion. I just found him at my nursery this endless summer. I have three of already in my garden. All three of them have been doing excellent. So I don't have any qualms. This is typically a really good hydrangea for our zone in the hot summer. My mom has four at her house as well. So there you go. Endless summer hydrangea plug. If you live summer hot, try them. They're great. I will see y'all tomorrow when hopefully I can plant my daylilies. I don't know if I'm more excited about the daylilies or the hydrangea. And if you want to go back to the beginning um, and follow me planting this hydrangea, I will link that right here. Bye y'all.